Good evening, teacher. How are you? Nicholas, good evening. How are you? Fine, thank you. Fine. How was your this day? Moment... Sorry? Please tell me. No, tell me, tell me. In this moment, relax for the class. <laughs> That's excellent. That's excellent. So how was today, your day? Well, today, um, now, um, was in the in the party of the the company the company in, yeah in the in the restaurant la pampa uh, el volcan Ooh, Be, because great. it's it's terrible the traffic all day uh, uh, with my wife and and i and me uh, uh, travel travel in with eh, con mucho tráfico with in a lot of traffic in a, in a lot of in a lot of traffic eh, and the return the traffic is 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 very eh, era, era, fue peor. it was worse is it was worse uh, we we need uh, we need return for Quesaltepec. Uh, by Quesaltepec. By Quesaltepec. Uh, to Quesaltepec, uh, San Salvador. And for uh, because the traffic for La Pampa. La Pampa el Volcán Santa Tecla no 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 was no was not was not possible the 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 movement of cars no or or more no, no había no había movimiento de carros more really Yes. Oh, uh, well, uh, for tomorrow we is necessary travel uh, to Takua, uh, to Takua uh, all day. Oh, really? You're gonna be there all day long? Sorry. You are going to be there all day long? Estaré a todo el día. Yes, all day long. Uh, we need prepare a report with directive of water system. Uh, uh, we need we need a uh, uh, we we need a uh, to, tomar caudal. Medición de agua. Please teach. Negra tocan. Okay. Okay. You need to take the to measure the water flow. Yes. You need to measure the water flow. Flow means caudal. Okay. Thank you. Teacher, uh, yes. I, I, I need uh, no one problem, more no problem, time. No problem. No problem. Thank you, teacher. Marta, hello, good evening. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. I'm good. And you? Just fine, just fine. How was your day? Well, my day was a normal day, teacher. You know the same story. I I have a lot more, but everything was okay. I am ready for the class. Okay, that's good. That's great. That's the attitude, my friend. So tomorrow is our last day together. 
Yes. But don't worry, don't it's, worry. During, uh, during vacation, I will send you homework, okay? Teacher, please, it's vacation. No way, Jose. You know what's the problem? Is that you know at, this is level, <laughs> at this level, at the level that you are, guys, I mean... Uh, Never vacation. No, the problem is that you will lose vocabulary fast if you don't practice. Okay. Yes, I know. You're going to lose vocabulary and forget the English pretty fast if you don't practice it every day as you have been. Okay. okay. And remember that the level of English that we are using right now is not basic. I mean, we are using a different type of vocabulary. We are speaking in a different level, a different speed. So if you slow down, believe me, you get rusty. Oh my you get God. rusty. <laughs> so see that. Yeah. Okay, my dear, welcome. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. You're welcome. Okay, guys, let me start getting a little something here. Just a second, please. Very please. Okay. Okay, fine. Guys, uh, just before we move on, I need to remind you that some of you need to really, and I mean really work in the platform because I have, uh, let's see, I got one person who has not worked at all. Sorry, I will switch into Spanish just for a second. Perdón, me pasaban un reporte ahora y tenemos un miembro del grupo que no me ha terminado el, no me ha trabajado nada en la plataforma y tengo uno, dos, tres, cuatro que solo me han hecho la sección uno y a media la sección dos. Y... Eh, tengo varios que, que no me han trabajado la sección tres, cuatro y algunos tampoco el midterm. Entonces, yo le rogaría que por favor tratemos de avanzar porque recordemos, para el día de mañana de, tenemos que tener terminado las cuatro secciones, el midterm y el examen final. Así que tenemos bastante trabajo, aquí venimos atrasados, si necesitan ayuda, yo mañana uh, quiero ver, voy a estar disponible durante el día, me consultan cualquier duda, con gusto les atenderé. Y les recuerdo que mañana realizamos la sure. encuesta de satisfacción, ¿ok? Yes, Wilfredo. Uh, I want to, to tell you that I, I have trouble in two homework the, okay. the first let and the me, second week, but... Let me check. Yes, okay. Wilfredo, let me know. Uh, after the class or tomorrow, send me specifically the number of the exercise so I can help you, okay? Okay, okay. Tomorrow I can, if, uh, if I can uh, text you, uh, if you can help me. Please, teacher, because I didn't finish. Sure, the homework. I will do it. Don't okay. worry, don't worry. I'm here to Thank help you, you, teacher. Thank you. Teacher. Yes, William? I need help you too. Week song William. exercise. William, you finished the platform already, perhaps in the midterm. Yeah, but it's just little details. Okay, let me know tomorrow. Maybe some mañana and I will help you. Okay, William? Thank you, Charlie. You're welcome. Okay, guys, let's see. Uh, um, who else is around? Shanira, hello, Shanira, how are you? Hello, teacher. All is okay? I uh, just work in vacation, but I work. 
uh, I need to solve some problem because you know if you don't work, you lost. You're on vacation again. Yes, I am vacation. Well, nice. suppose that because I I just work now. <laughs> That's interesting. Man, you just leave you on vacation. Come on, teacher. Mm -hmm. Yes, right. I'm vacation, but you know, all the time I get my computer because and you want to make more money. Oh, that's cool. Uh-huh. Yeah, right, teacher. Come on. Come on, teacher. If you work yeah. a lot, you will get more money. Yeah. That's oh, the idea. Nice no? for you, teacher. Nice for you. In my case, is is not equal. Ah, uh -huh, yeah, 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 yeah. Yes, teacher. All girls here. Can I was very close of believing you. <laughs> I was this close. Yes, teacher, it's true. We work a lot, but uh, we doesn't receive the extra money. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh huh. Yeah. Whatever. <laughs> Janita, oh, welcome to the class. Tell you, teacher. <laughs> Take it, teacher. Let's see. Erwin, hello, Erwin. How are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. How are you, my friend? <clears throat> um, very good. As usual. Okay. Oh, just said that you had the dinner with your co workers, right? Yes. How was it? How did no, it go? No, not, yes, not yesterday, uh, before then, yesterday. Oh, um, the day before yesterday. Yeah. Oh, Tuesday. How did it go? Was it fine? Yeah, yeah, it's a really good party uh, with a lot of food, drinks, and uh, dance, dance, dancing, dancing. Okay. Uh, everybody was happy. Uh, 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 well, it was a, a good uh, convivio. How do you say that? Gathering. Gathering. Okay. A yeah. good gather. Mm -hmm. That's nice. That's nice. Oh, you have fun. Sorry? You have fun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Of course. Uh, well, uh, in my position, I, I was working and uh, helping with all the um, pre preparatives to the, to the party. And into the party, I was working too, uh, trying to, or uh, giving instructions to the people that we, we hire for, for the, specifically for the event. And um, in order that everything was okay, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay, well, that's good. I mean, it's 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 kind of satisfactory when when those activities come out okay and people enjoy themselves, right? Yes, yes, yes. Because in the end, that's the objective, so people can feel like appreciated by the company. Exactly. Yeah. The only problem, as you said, is that in your case, that means more work. Uh, yes, but um, I enjoyed to do it. Um, cool. It was a lot of work, uh, a lot of uh, things to do, but yeah, it's satisfactory. And at the end, uh, to to watch or to to yes to watch to your co-workers and partners uh, uh, be happy enjoying themselves enjoying themselves uh -huh. yeah it's good Erwin thank you very much nice having you here in class welcome thank you teacher guys let me get the attendance please Ambar Alfaro Gomez present Ana Claudia González Velázquez. Present teacher. Uh, Claudia Elizabeth Ramos Barrientos. Did you hear me teacher? I'm, I'm sorry. I yes, Ana Claudia, thank you. <laughs> okay, thank you. 
Present teacher. Thank you, Daniel Eduardo Segueda Valencia. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. There's Francisco, I don't hear you, but I see you. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. José Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Marta Anabelinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Roxana Iveta Asensio de Mejía. Silvia Elizabeth Amendaño Pineda. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. Samira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present. Thank you very much. Okay, guys. Well, let's continue. We still got some minutes to talk to each other. Let's see, let's see, let's see who else is around. Ana Claudia, hello, how are you? Hi, teacher. Good evening. How are you? I'm fine. I'm sorry. <laughs> I'm fine. What about you? I'm just fine. Just fine. You know, here working as usual. Mm -hmm. But you soon will be on vacation. The season, yeah. the most you love. <laughs> okay. The expression goes like this. The season you love the most. The season you love the most. Okay. The season you love the most. Yeah. You know, I will rather have vacation in another season for what christmas, example christmas is not good for me would you like, like to christmas. have them on the holy week or easter you mean okay easter i thought easter it was just the friday but the thing is this that uh we don't actually say the holy week i mean we can say the holy week but that's a literal translation mm. and and the problem is that uh, it's not seen nor celebrated like that so ah okay we refer yes. to it as easter oh yes because around the world uh, they uh, celebrate friday as the easter yep. okay yep. got it so would you prefer to have your vacation time on Easter or? Well, uh, for Easter, I get seven days. <laughs> ah, okay. And when do you prefer to have your vacation time? Hmm. <laughs> I don't know, like June, July. Oh, that is a good season. Yeah, summer vacation. Mm -hmm. No, okay. Well, well, no, no summer, but summer over there not here i mean it's just that uh those days going to work you know the heat the weather exactly. is terrible mm -hmm. yes i know but i think it's terrible on easter is the heat is has presence it's remarkable <laughs> yeah but remember that between june and july we get some weeks that are like oof, horrible Mm, well, let's They're see. It depends, dry. I think. It depends on the geographical uh, position. Position. Uh -huh. Thank you. Mm -hmm. So tell me, what about you? How's everything? I'm still fighting to reach my revenue goal, but I'm in the, I'm in the way. How close are you? I'm still missing $2,300. I'm pretty sure okay. I will. Mm -hmm. 
Okay, and those two thousand dollars, how how many what equipments do you have to sell? That will be equivalent to uh, like around six Ooh. or five, depending because we have a bundle where we sell the um, equipment, but including a dash cam, and that gives me an additional sixty dollars amount. So. And that makes me um, run. Yeah, you adapt little, little quantities. Exactly, and exactly. And I'm adapting every dollar, every service. But I'm pretty sure I will do it. Maybe, maybe I'm still need to, I don't know how tomorrow will go, but suddenly I got some surprises that um, I have the ownership of customers that I sold in the last three months. And suddenly, uh, they one or two customers that they are still in this Windows time frame, they call me saying that they add another vehicle, so they need another equipment. And yes, uh, stay in the process, uh, that is a quickly sell. So I'm hoping that happens tomorrow, maybe on Monday too. But I'm pretty sure I will reach my goal soon, very soon. Let's hope so. Let's hope so. Mm -hmm. Claudia, welcome to the class. Thank you Thank very you much teacher. for sharing with us. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see who else do I have here. Ambar. Hello, Ambar. Ambar was closer. You were just missing one. Tell me, Ambar, you got it? Yes, I got it. Oh, <laughs> cool. Great. Excellent for you. Thank you, teacher. My day was really, really busy, but very productive for me. And I am okay. happy. So now whatever you sell is extra. Exactly, extra. Okay. <laughs> that's cool, that's cool. I mean, you gotta take as many advantages as you can. Yes, I hope tomorrow sell more policies, but I don't know. <laughs> well, let's hope everything goes according to your plan, you know. The good thing is that you already got your 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 goal, and that's pretty important. I mean, that lets you like breathe a little bit. Yes. But of course, yes. the extra the extra ones. I mean, it's extra money, so that's also yes. good, right? Yes, exactly. Extra money and more opportunities uh, in. How do you say una mejor comisión? A better commission. Okay, on commission. Okay, let's see. Yeah, but in this case, perhaps not commission. Let's see, because we are talking about or uh, maybe i i can improve my commission yes yeah yeah that's right i mean you can improve it get more and remember in december we always spend more than what we have planned yes well that's normal Amber, welcome to the class. Thank you very much. Thank you, teacher. Jose Wilfredo, hello, how are you? Hello, teacher. How are you? Everything good to me? So far, so good. So I'm completing the, the platform because I wasn't complete the part mm -hmm. four, <laughs> but I almost done. Let's see, let's see, let's see. Let me check, let's see, Jose, Jose, Wilfredo, Ayana. Yeah, you're almost done. Then you're yeah, gonna be done. missing just the final exam. Mm -hmm. Okay, yeah, if you can fine. finish it, if you can finish it tonight, it will be better. Yeah, I so, think it's it. So tomorrow you are relaxed with this. You just need to finish the, tomorrow take the Encuesta Satisfacción and we are cool. Yeah. Yesterday I got a message about that 
Eh, about that process. Yeah. Oh, that process. Yeah, and well, you know, we, we do it always the last class. I give the explanation and I I guide you to the whole process. So don't worry, that's easy. That's easy. Yeah. But we do it yeah. together. Okay, well, so how was your day? Uh, everything good because I have to work uh, since my house. So from, from? From my house. Okay. Remember, you are talking about the, the, the the position so that's from okay, okay. since I have refers to, to the moment okay 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 so i have to work from my house so everything good because i can wake up like 30 minutes after before to, before. to start my shift yeah so that's easy. Just I have to uh, prepare uh, a cup of coffee, and then I, I can take a shower during the during the morning when I have a time. That's cool. I mean, yeah, it's nice when you can, in a way, I mean, in a way, manage your own schedule because I mean, yeah. you got your schedule, but you can uh, distribute your personal activities along it, and that's cool. Yeah, that's really cool because you make your plan when you have a time to do a lot of things, uh, some duties at home. So, because I need yeah. to, to help my, my wife. If not, they're going to be angry. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> You're in trouble. You're in trouble. Yeah. I know, yeah. I know what you mean. I know exactly what you mean. Yeah, yeah. that's right. So, that's why... I have to make a, a really good plan for every day. Arrangements. Yeah, I need to well, arrange. Yeah, that's, good. that's right, because I mean, well, actually, some of your classmates are in the same situation. They are working from home and and they coordinate their activities like that. Like Janita, she, told, she tells me, I mean, she works in pajamas all day long, she says. Sometimes she comes her. I'm kidding, Janita. I'm kidding. Janita's gonna kill me. <laughs> yeah. Oh, I mean, Our teacher, take care. <laughs> I'm kidding you, teacher. I'm kidding you. Yeah, you see, you see, you see. No, but I mean, uh, in a way, you can you can control some of the some of the activities and distribute them all along the day. Yeah. Yeah, and that's that's, right. that's an opportunity you don't have when you go to the office because if you are in the office, mm -hmm. I mean, well, you have to wake up earlier. You have to yeah. dress up in a way. I mean, working from home, you can be more comfortable, right? Yeah, that's right, teacher. Because when I was working at the building, uh, I have to wake up early to help with a lot of. Uh, do this on my home and on my house. So now I feel so relaxed for that situation. But most of the day I wake up early too because I love run. So I make a, a run after my shift. And sometimes maybe, yeah, running I love or running. Jogging? No, running. Okay, that's so, interesting. Yeah, I'm I, sorry to interrupt, but in that case, it, Jose's activity, it will be workout or what is the difference about workout? Okay, working out is when you have a routine ah. of exercise you perform on a specific amount of time. Mm. Okay, but in this case, it goes there, uh, rounds every day, 7 a.m. to... This is still not a workout. It's just one exercise. And remember, workout are routine, a series of exercises. Ah, okay. So can we say workout is when you are at, at a gym, for example? Making yeah. Using or machines? Or you can do it at home. You do squats, you know, push-ups. Ah, uh, okay, okay. 
Sorry to interrupt, but I always had that doubt. Continue, Jose. <laughs> don't worry, I'm closing. Don't worry, don't worry. And please, like, oh, this is my cloud. Kidding, 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 kidding. No, no, it's good. It's good. Remember, those interruptions helps because we clarify a point that perhaps, I mean, it's a doubt that somebody else also has. Great. So it's good that you have, I mean, you like running, you do exercise. Man, running for me, uh, not my thing. Yeah, but I have to do it because I like play soccer, so I need oh. to have a good condition. Well, you know, that's the funny thing. I used to play, I used to play volleyball and basketball, but mm -hmm. nowadays, man, uh, uh, I mean, I go to the gym. Yeah. I go to the gym and I, uh, well, since two months ago, I started going back because of my of my injury. I couldn't, mm -hmm. and and it's a little bit harder. But I'm going. I'm getting back my rhythm. Mm -hmm. My rhythm. But sometimes it's like oof, like yesterday, my my hand, my wrist was hurting a lot because of the exercises I was doing today. Ooh, I just had one hour free. I went and I did, uh, I worked two different muscles, but still, well, two different groups of muscles, but still, uh, I would rather do that instead of something like jogging or running. I uh, uh, don't like that, not my thing. <laughs> but it's, um, it's I... different. And uh, how was your injury? Oh, I fell from a motorcycle. Oh, really? Yeah. Actually, I was working bone, with this. Or something like with, that? Uh, no, I was going to run over a dog. Hmm. Actually, I was working with this group, and we had to, 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 to postpone that class because I was at the hospital. I was wearing a cast for a couple of days. Mm -hmm. Then I took it off on my own. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I undergo some treatment, therapy, stuff, but now it's back to normal. Actually, I have ridden in a motorcycle a couple of times after that, and I'm okay. I mean, I have gone downtown San Salvador in a motorcycle again, and it's okay. I can do it. I feel comfortable. Mm -hmm. Oh wow! Well, wow. so now you continue driving your motorcycle? No, actually, I sold mine. Ah, I'm really? Thinking about yeah, I'm thinking about buying another one, but they don't want me here at home. <laughs> <laughs> and what kind of motorcycle was? It? Oh, it was a small one, uh, a hundred and twenty-five. Okay. Yeah, yeah, it was a small one. Now I want uh, actually. I'm interested in a 250 Ninja. Oh, 250, that's a good. Yeah. But I, if you want to invest in 250, I guess that you can invest in 200 and 500. Yeah, but the weight, too much. <laughs> and you know, the, that's funny because my style is, the, the two that I like are completely different. Uh, one is a 250 Ninja and the other one I like is the Honda Shadow, the mm -hmm. the 250 or the 450, I guess. Wow. And it's a uh, different sounds, style. Sounds really good. Yeah, but I'm thinking about, I'm trying to, com to convince my wife. <laughs> yeah, because if not, you're gonna be in trouble. Yeah. Serious trouble. Man, the other day I was telling your classmates here, the other day I was trying out the, the my, well, my wife's brother-in-law, he's got a BMW, mm -hmm. a 300. Man, wow. that's a beautiful, beautiful motorcycle. Wow. And maybe I'm thinking when you start the, the engine, so that sounds going to be good. It's soft. Pretty soft. Oh, really? Yeah, it's a soft rumble. 
but wow. you really, really feel the power of it. So that's nice. Yeah, I know. Jose Wilfredo, nice having you here. Welcome to the class. Okay, thank you. Let's see. Wilfredo Guardado, now that we are with Wilfredo. Wilfredo, how are you? My teacher. We are here. Listen to you, the conversation with a classmate. Okay, and tell me, what about you? How was your day? How's everything? Oof, it was very, very hard, teacher, because all day we we don't have internet connection in my job. Ooh, we didn't. Yes, we we didn't have. Yes, yes. Um, oh, really? Yes, until three and um, three p.m. Yeah. Yes, but uh, it's it it my day today. It was crazy. This week, teacher, it is it is so hard. It is so hard in my company because from Monday we have to pay um, bonus. The next day we, I I told you. I remember. Yeah, you told Wednesday. me yesterday. Yes. And what about the, the chickens? When are you giving out the chickens? Ah, today. Today we oh, give. Oh, really? It was ah. crazy, I imagine. Yes. Imagine we have to give to the um, 1,070. Hundred. 1,700. Oh, really? Yes, it is. It is a hard teacher, but uh, it is. It is. And generally, we have to do it, but we have uh, we have to to an habit habit to do it. Yeah. But we have trouble with the system today, but because in the um, um, printing center, I, I I work teacher, I work in a packaging department, but we need to get some sticker to put that to poly back. Uh, UPCs, uh, some no, another sticker, um, and many. When when we pack, when we pack the standalone, we had to put some sticker, uh, uh, UPCs, size sticker, and another sticker. But in the printing, uh, el centro de impresión. Yeah, printing the center. Printed, yeah, printing center. Center, yes. center. Center, center. But all day we can we can do it. But until 3 p.m. start to print all all day that we have to need. Then uh, tomorrow is going to be very, very nice because we have to do some some work. And to finish the work from today and the work from tomorrow. But I remember this phrase, teacher, is occupational hazard. Yeah, but tomorrow, you know, yes, but tomorrow, teacher, is going to be the last day from the people. Yeah, you can also say it's part of the game. It's part of the game? Part, it's part of the game. Ah, okay. It's more colloquial, you know, when you say, well, it's part of the game. Part of the game. Part, part. Part. I'm sorry. No, 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 no. That's a whole different story. <laughs> part, my friend, part. Part. Ah. Part yeah. of the game. Yeah, teacher, but the next week is going to be so so easy because we always to go to, we to always receive. Go so. to. Excuse me? We always go to. Yes. Uh, to receive some information, some capacitation, teacher. Trainings. Excuse me? Trainings. Training. Training. Ah, ah okay. okay. But uh, Wednesday, I hope to be 
I will be free. free. And I am going to take my vacation. I am going to start um, from next year, um, January 3. Okay. <laughs> you know, it's normal as you say, it's part of the game. Part of the game. Have... Hey. Okay, then... what about you, teacher? Me, well, busy, busy, busy today. Oh, well, actually, I was on the move almost all day long, running some errands, getting some stuff. Uh, we went to the to the garage, to the workshop, in order to get the the, the pickup out. You know, we were fixing a pickup, uh, rebuilding the engine, a full speed, full. Yes. Uh, ah, I imagine, teacher. I, I need to do it too for my my wife cars. I need to do some. I need to oh. to, to go to to auto repair shop to checking. I I, I, I imagine that I am going to do it the same like you. Yeah, but in our case, man, we also changed the the clutch. <laughs> so in the end, it was like. Two thousand three hundred and cents. <laughs> I imagine. Oh, it hurts. Believe me, it hurts. Your bonus, teacher. For your bonus. Yeah. The worst thing is that it's not even my car. It's my my father-in-law's pickup. But you know, um, we help. But yes. it's good and it's bad. It's good because the car is nice, but now the problem is that I am in charge of, you know, uh, tuning it up. Tengo que desarrollarlo. I'm going yes. to be in charge of that. Yes, you have to be and so careful because if yeah, you that's go a big there responsibility. very fast, you are going to, to, to have some trouble. Yeah, it's a big responsibility. And it's good that he trusts me, but it's bad because, man, it's a lot of <laughs> you money. Are, you, you have to go over there very, very slow, did you? Yes, yes. Actually, I am planning perhaps next week and perhaps going to Santa Ana one day. The next day going to, I don't know. Hey, come on, Santa Ana, teacher. Yeah, I will. Actually, I will. Really? I will go to Santa Ana in order to... to to try it out, you know. When are you going to? Did you? Um, when are... I'm not sure. Perhaps I don't know. One one weekday. Really? Yeah. It's I'm not really... sure. Mm. Uh, it, I'll it... let you know. I'll let you know. But if, if, if you want, we can go over there to to bring a, a cup of coffee, teacher, or or that would be great. Yes. I let I will let you know. We'll keep in touch, okay? Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Let's see. Let's see. Guys, I got a question. Thank you very much, Wilfredo. I got a Welcome question. A very, very interesting question for you. Now we are going to get pretty deep and serious, okay? With the with the question that we are going to discuss. Now. What are some of the greatest achievements and inventions of mankind? Mankind, make a list with your classmates. I'm going to divide you in four groups, and I want you, as a group, to think what and discuss what are some of the greatest achievements and inventions of mankind. Okay, make a list with your classmates. At least I need to to see at least five five inventions. Okay. Think about it, discuss, but not just telling me, uh, like the train, don't tell me just the train. Tell me why do you as a group think they are good, they are important for the whole humanity, okay? That's what I want you to discuss. Not just tell me, oh, this invention is great. Tell me why, because we know, everybody knows that airplanes are a good invention, right? Why, why are they good? That's what I'm going to ask you about, okay? Right now, I'm going to divide you in groups and the groups are going to be made out of from three to four members per group. So uh, 
Groups are created. Let me check on something. Just give me a second. Perfect. Okay, guys, groups are created. Please jump in. Nicholas, my friend, they left you alone. I'll send you to another group, okay? Let me see. There you go.
Okay, let's bring everybody out from the rooms. Let's get them know that in 60 seconds. Okie dokie, let's see. Okay, Ambar, Daniel, Wilfredo. Ambar, tell me, what were you discussing? Tell me about one of the inventions that you discussed. Well, uh, Wilfredo and me, we talk about 
the reel, la rueda. Yes. The what? La rueda. Okay, <laughs> the wheel. Yeah. Wheel. Yes, is is the a good invention for the human because the reel you can use in your car, your engine in your car, and another tools. I don't know. <laughs> Sorry, teacher, I don't have any. It's, a it lot has of many applications. It has many applications. That's what you mean, right? Exactly. And in another examples, if Wilfredo and me, we talk about Google. Google, yes. it have a lot of tools. Google Lens is a good translator or, or Google can read the document or another things in a screen. And the mail, sorry, teacher. Okay, no, it's okay, it's great. Excellent, thank you very much, Amber. Now let's see, okay. in the second group I have, let's see. Um, okay, Sylvia, tell me, what were you discussing with Nicholas and Erwin? Sylvia, are you there? Okay, let's see where's uh, oh. Erwin. Uh, we, we, we were talking uh, about some uh, events that, as Amber said, the wheel is the one of the first, but in the history, as uh, in prehistoric times, humans have ground earth and uh, earth and minerals to create pigments. And we are talking about the uh, the discovery that the people uh, made in Morazan uh, with the pig pigments of the pre pre-Hispanic uh, people uh, in Cacao Pera. In Cacao Pera. Um, early decoration shows a simple um, earthy palette including ochre, uh, amber, black and white. Uh, this is one of the invention that we, we, we were talking about. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Now let's see. The next group was Ana Claudia, William and Walter. What can you tell me about it, Ana Claudia? What were you talking about with William and Walter? Oh, okay. Uh, we were talking about four different events, but at the end, uh, we discovered the most important is for us, the electricity, because um, there are some equipment, some machinery that won't be possible to work or being a equipment assisting our home task if they don't have the electricity, the electric power. For example, a washing machine in a house okay. is basic <laughs> and it helps a lot. Uh, that is what we were discussing. Okay, perfect. Thank you very much. Mm -hmm. imagine, imagine one day without electricity. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes. Maybe it could be a cow. <laughs> it is a cow. Uh -huh. I remember back in the days, you know. Okay, thank you, guys. In the war now, days. <laughs> yeah. War days. Jose Osorio, Jose Wilfredo, and Marta. Mr. Osorio, tell me, what was your discussion about? Well, teacher, we talk about um, the one of the most important inventions is the electrical energy because now everything we know about technologies or inventions depends on this. And we really couldn't live without it. 
and them and we talk uh, about the inventor invention of of engines engines yes mm -hmm. the inventor of the uh, in internet too for access okay. to all the information around the world and also the invention of the computer uh, and the invention of, of satellites because they transfer information to the whole world. The world. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. Just that it. Excellent. No, well done. Well done. Pretty well done, guys. Now let me get the second attendance because believe it or not, time's running fast. And Barely Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. As a teacher. Claudia Elisa Ramos Barrientos. Daniel Eduardo Segura Valencia. Present teacher. Thank you, Daniel. Erwin Francisco Lopez Rojas. Present teacher. Fernando Marvin Gonzalez Martinez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Sorto. Present teacher. José Abigail Godínez López. María Alejandra Barrientos Romero. Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo. Present teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados. Present, present. Thank you. No problem, Francisco. Roxana Iveda Cencio de Mejía. Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda. Present. Thank you. Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. En Janira Elizabeth Asensio Garcia. Present. Okay, guys, let's see. Now, next exercise. Let's get rid of this and get it ready for you. Here we go. Let's see. There you go, guys. Okay, let's see. How to avoid double negatives? Look at the examples in the box, then complete the exercise below. You remember I was telling you yesterday that two negatives in a sentence are considered ungrammatical in English. The recommendation is to avoid using them since the result is that a statement like, I don't know nothing, could be interpreted differently as I do know something. So look, we don't publish nothing unrelated to the benefits of our products. The correct is we don't publish anything unrelated to the benefits of our products. If you notice, if we have don't, the negation, then we use anything or any, okay? So look, the company didn't get any additional sales after the event. The expert never said anything about the drastic change of image in our products. If you notice, whenever there's a double negation, you use anything instead of the second one. So you don't use nothing if you got a negative. In this case, remember, neg never is a negative structure, okay? It's a negative form, I'm sorry. 
So we got to be careful with that. Now the exercise. We have to correct the double negative mistake in each sentence, okay? So look, we got the department doesn't know nothing about branding. The manager never tell us nothing about the plans to improve the brand of the business. I don't have nothing against billboards, but the truth is they are too expensive. We didn't get no increase in sales after advertising on Facebook. The customers don't want no change in prices. So now what are you going to do? Get rid of the double negation, in this case, nothing. You're going to get rid of nothing in number four of no. This is the word that you're going to cross out the same as in number five. And use instead anything or any, okay? You're going to be working with the same group. You're going to have four minutes for the exercise. And please jump in. Francisco, try to use the microphone now, please. Let's see. Francisco, hello. Hello, hello teacher. Thank oh, you. you can use it now, perfect. Yes, teacher, thank you. No problem. Okay, guys, there's five members in this group. Let me check the rest of the groups. I guess I'm going to, yes, I'm going to send one of you to another group. And that one is going to be, let me see, Erwin, sorry, my friend. Okay. There you go. There were too many of you. Yes, okay, guys. Please do the exercise. I'm going. I'll leave you to it.
Okay, guys, let's see, let's see. How the sentence end up for you? Okay, let's see. Number one, please, Walter, tell me. Okay, department then does know anything about branding. The department doesn't know anything about branding. Perfect, Walter. Thank you very much. Now let's see. Uh, number two, William. Sorry, teacher, repeat the first. The first the sentence. The department please. doesn't know anything about branding. Uh, William, number two. Let's see. Teacher. Yes. I know the star, teacher. Okay, no problem. Marta, help me out with number two. Okay, teacher, maybe is the manager never tell you anything about the plans to improve the brands of the business? Great. Well done. Sylvia, number three. Let's see, Sylvia, hello. Hello. Number okay, three. Yes. I don't have anything against billboards, but the truth is they are too expensive. Okay. Number four goes to uh, um, Jose Osorio. Excuse me, this is what number? Four, number four. Okay, we didn't get any increase in sales after advertising on Facebook. Perfect, excellent. And number five goes to... Let's see, Wilfredo Guardado. The last one. Yep, yeah, please. The customer. I, I'm, I'm sorry, teacher, but the, we didn't finish this one. Okay, the customers don't want any change in price. Ah, okay, okay. Don't. Okay. Yes. Uh, uh, would you repeat, please? The, customer, the customers don't, don't want, want any any change any change in ah, okay prices. okay thank you teacher okay perfect now let me do a little something here let's see Oops. Look at this sentence. Oh my gosh. Remember, you can say, I don't want anything to drink. This sentence is completely correct, right? But Remember that you can also say it this way. If you write an affirmative sentence, then you can use the nothing. Okay, oops. I want nothing to drink. You see? If the sentence is negative, you use anything or any. 
but you can express the same idea with an affirmative sentence and then using nothing. You see guys, I want nothing to drink. I don't want anything to drink. Both sentences are exactly the same idea. Any question? No, okay. Now let's continue. Give me just a second, get back in here. Okay, guys, now we are going to the space. Okay, I want you to discuss this question. It, it's going to be funny. Okay, it's going to be kind of funny. Okay, do you think humans will one day inhabit another planet? That's the question. Okay, four minutes for you to discuss. Okay, due to connection problems, I think my, my, my connection is low. I cannot be jumping from group to group. Okay, I will stay here, but you will have four minutes to do this practice, and then I'm going to ask some of you the question. Okay, guys, uh, please get into the groups.
Okay, guys. Okay. Now we are going to do a very different type of exercise. Let's see. Hmm. Am I missing some of you? Okay. Now there's one person here that I just sent a direct message. Marta, I need you to ask that question to one of your classmates, please. Marta, hello. Sorry. Um, Jose, tell me, what was your first job? Jose Osorio. Yeah. My first job. Yeah. And I remember when, when I was uh, 18, um, I had worked in, in a selective transportation as a, as a driver. That's my first job, I remember. Okay, thank you. Okay. Thank you. Now, Marta, ask anybody else. We got the same question for somebody else. Okay. Um, Walter, tell me, what was your first job? Hello, hello, excuse me. Hi, Walter. Hi. Do you understand the question? Tell me. The question is, what was your first job? First job. First. Uh, the first job. The first yeah. job is uh, preparing my desk, my office, and the chat and the mail. Uh, no, no. ¿Cuál fue su primer trabajo? Ah, excuse me. Yo pensé que me dijo que hacía primero en su trabajo. Oh my God. And first jobs is a, a business. Teacher, a business. Uh, oh, really? I sell uh, pupusas. Oh, that's cool. <laughs> oh, yes. And... I had a business. Um, okay, he had his own business. Thank you very much, Walter. That's enough. Now, okay, Ana Claudia, well. I need you to ask the question that I just sent you to, I don't know, pick one of your classmates. <laughs> okay, uh, let's see. Let me ask to Susana. What is the worst? Oh, 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 she's got problems. She's got problems with the with connection, right? Ah, now. You okay. can ask somebody else. Okay, let me ask Erwin. What is the worst job you have? You have ever had? Uh, my worst job that I ever had was in a call center. By oh. <laughs> by six months, I can say that it was my worst job because um, my team manager, in order that I, I was a good seller, told me uh, maybe one month after that I start to work, hey, would you like overtime? And I said, yes, I want. So I was working from 8 a.m. to 10 p.m. every day from Monday to Friday. No, so come on. It was terrible, horrible. Yeah. Oh, no, I can't remember that. No. <laughs> okay, perfect. Wow. Ana Claudia, uh -huh. 
Ah. Choose another one. Okay. Uh, let's see. <laughs> what a terrible experience, Erwin. <laughs> okay. Let me, <laughs> let me ask to... Uh, I, let's see. Wilfredo Ayala, I don't know if he's connected. No. No. Okay. So let me ask to William. Uh, William. William Gonzalez. Okay. What Tell is me. the worst job? What is the worst job you, have, you have ever had? El peor, William. Wow. Question easy. easy. Is, <laughs> is, I think we lost you, William. Do you want me to ask to someone else? Yeah, please. Uh, let's see. Um, Sylvia, what is the worst job you have ever had? Hello, hello. Uh, this is my first job. I started working for this company four years ago. Mm. So I have not had like a worst job. Oh. But, uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Good for you. <laughs> yeah. Okay, teacher. Thank you. Perfect. Well done, Ana Claudia. Thank you. Okay. Uh, uh, uh. Now, next question is going to be asked from Nicholas. Nicholas is going to ask the question. This is the question for you, Nicholas. Check out in the chat, please. You need to ask the question. Nicolas, open your microphone, please. Yes. Yeah. When do you okay. plan to retire? Yes. Who are you going to ask? Tell the question. Uh, Wilfredo Guardado. Okay. Wilfredo. When, do you plan, when do you plan to retire? Wilfredo. Excuse me, will you repeat? When do you plan to retire? What it is my plans? When, for? when, 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 when do you plan to retire? Retire? I, I'm sorry. I, I, Retirement. I no more working. Ah, uh, twenty. <laughs> I, I hope so. I hope so. That Nicolas, twenty twenty two. I am going to be free, and I'm going to have my vacation until two. Uh, January 3. January 3? Yes. Yes. Okay. Is your, plan? Um, is your plan for retire? And I, I, it is a, a bad news, but I need to go to the United States. But my father, he is very sick and I need to go to oh. visit. Yeah, but retire is uh, jubilarse. Ah, I'm sorry. No, right now, no, because I need to go. When? When do when? you plan to retire? To retire. And I, I let me see. I need to work fifteen years. <laughs> More. Yes. More? Yes. More? Because of the age. Because of your yeah. age, I imagine. Yes, yeah, because um, it is uh, 16 years 16 old. 16 years yes. old. Yes, but I, 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 now I, 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 or, I am uh, 45 years old. I need to work 15 years more. Okay, or, well, 
Don't worry, Wilfredo, look at it. Uh, Silvia is, how old are you, Silvia? 20 or 21? No. <laughs> She's 22. Okay. Man. 22. A yeah. long, long, long way to go. Sorry for her, but ah, it, is, it is nice when you start to job, Silvia. Don't worry. Uh, time flies. Okay, thank you guys. Thank you, thank you. Excellent. Now, uh, now I got a very interesting question, which you are going to discuss in groups again. The question is this one, look. What will make you quit your job? Which reasons will make you say, okay, that, that's it. I'm not working here no more, I'm gone, okay? Now, I would like you to discuss that question. I would like to ask you when you come back. Uh, maybe is move other country or um, better opportunity. Mm -hmm. uh, I think so. This respect. I don't know. Is is the worst? Is the word word? This respect is como falta de respeto. <laughs> Lack of. Uh... Respect, lack of respect. Is respect is correct, teacher, or not? Yes, lack okay. of respect. Yeah, it is is other other. Let me see. Other. Um, no, let, 
I, I think so it's just that is respect, move, move other country, better opportunities and hostile environment. Or another company. Is this work. The uh, other reason is for a uh, is is best uh, best conditions, of course economics or a new challenge new challenge and and enjoy enjoy uh, the nature in the nature of course my work is 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 with the nature regular is uh, these are reasons for quit my my job. In UCP. Yeah, the the same. Uh, I think if I get a better job opportunity, or if I would not be feeling comfortable in my work. I would change my work or for example, if I move to another place and my job is very far, so I probably would, would quit my, my job. Yeah, that, that's it. Or for example, if I don't have any opportunity to grow like a person, if they refuse to give me time to study or or something like that, maybe. Okay. Uh, for uh, for in in my case, I I have some uh, works uh, where I know I I know. Me he sentido bien. No me he sentido bien. Feel, I have not felt good or I have not felt okay. I have not felt felt okay. And Okay, now next question. It's completely the opposite. Oops, sorry guys, my microphone, I don't know why it keeps on sitting down. Okay, the next question is the complete opposite. What motivates you to work hard, okay? That's what you are going to 
tell me about it. But now we are going to do the discussion right here. So let's see. Erwin, tell me what motivates you to work hard? Um, well, uh, I think it's a question of attitude. Uh, if you love your job, the thing that you need to do, uh, you, you work hard. It's not necessarily an extra motivation. Just is your own motivation. You you are going to think that it's necessary to to satisfy or to be happy to your customers. So this is the best motivation. So it's because you work hard. Okay, thank you very much. Appreciate it. Interesting. Jose Wilfredo, tell me what about you? What motivates you to work hard? I think his connection is still not completely okay. Let's see, Mr. Osorio, what about you? Uh, well, teacher, uh, to be honest, well, what motivates me to work hard is the, the well-being of my family. And I don't need to think about anything else, teacher. Okay, perfect. Thank you. Marta, what about you? What's your motivation? Well, my motivation is pay my bills, have my family, and uh, enjoy. Okay, interesting. Now, guys, always related to the same idea. Other than increasing salaries, what can employers do to make their workers happy? What do you think about it, Ana Claudia? Um, um well let me tell you that uh, in my job i've been working in the same place for the last i will be almost 15 years this coming june and always i've seen in the company a motivational situation for example uh, well, let me tell you, we receive, when we're talking about the Christmas bonus, if you have more than two years uh, being employee, being an employee in our company, uh, you receive 100% of your salary. So it's like, oh, really? yes, it's one additional, yes, yes, of course. And if you are in sales like I am, it will be the average for the last six months salary you Ooh. get. So, and everybody is happy with this season comes up, but also uh, we um, have um, facilities like uh, our building. Right now is under construction. Uh, they, I come up, I remodel. ¿Cómo se puede decir remodelando? Están remodelando. Remodeling. Ah, okay. So they remodeling the building in order to offer better spaces. I'm always being happy working there. I didn't imagine that I would be working for a long time. But for example, for people like me working in sales, always there are like, if you reach certain goals, there will be additional a gift card for supermarket or stuff like that. So that helps a lot. The people feel motivated when you have gift like gift card or as a bonus, you can receive a, a day off, paid or okay. paid day off or stuff like that. Not only, not only increasing salaries, there are additional things that help you to be in a, uh, uh, in an environment, working happy. Okay, perfect, thank you. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now let's see, next question, we still got time. What are the values of the company you work for? Let's see, uh, uh, who's going to participate? Francisco. Well, I don't know if Francisco is going to work right now. Hello, teacher. 
I never get your schedules. You work in mornings, right? Not this year. Uh, oh, come on. Just call me. You're uh, arriving home? Uh, no, this year. Just coming to my work. Oh, arriving <laughs> to your job. So you're working the night uh, shift. Yes, teacher. Uh, I'm in night shift. Okay. So don't worry. Don't worry. Keep just listening, my friend. Okay, teacher. Okay, let's see, let's see. Nicholas, tell me, what are the values of the company you work for? Well, I think the, the values for the company are honesty with employee. Okay. Uh, sorry, with, yes, honesty with the employee, other uh, activities, um, uh, other values are uh, to prepare or promote promote the the uh, promote the the capacitations teacher sorry trainings yes promote training uh, with your um, um, employees uh, and pay just pay just pay okay fair 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 justo that's what you mean right fair fair pay okay yes fair pay excellent thank you very much nicolas thank you teacher okay now let's see who else who else who else walter tell me what are the values of the company you work for okay teacher <clears throat> and and the responsibility uh, and the person is uh willing to work uh at this point uh over time uh uh serving good the company well any things teacher okay perfect thank you very much perfect. okay guys now let's see again let me repeat the instructions from the beginning remember tomorrow is our last day of class uh, please try to be connected the whole class remember that tomorrow we are doing the, the encuesta at the end of the class. Well, I don't know yet. They need to confirm the, the exact time when we are going to do it. I will let you know at the beginning of the class. And besides that, I need to remind all of you that for tomorrow at midnight is my deadline for getting your grades into the system. So, if you can finish your platform before, I will really appreciate it. If not, don't worry. I will be waiting tomorrow after the class. If you need any help, don't worry. I'm going to be here for you guys. And then now let me get the final attendance. Ambarelli Alfaro Gomez. Present. Ana Claudia Gonzalez Velasquez. Present teacher. Claudia Lizette Ramos Barrientos. Daniel Eduardo Segura Valencia. Erwin Francisco López Rojas. Present. Fernando Marvin González Martínez. Francisco Eduardo Figueroa Mejía. Present, Bishop. José Ernesto Osorio Morán. Present, teacher. José Wilfredo Ayala Soto. Lucero Abigail Godínez López, María Alejandra Barrientos Romero, Marta Ana Belinda Morales de Portillo, Present, teacher. Nicolás Atilio Méndez Granados, Present, Present teacher, I'm sorry, but I connected no in problem. my cell phone. No problem, no problem. Roxana Iveda Asensio de Mejía, Silvia Elizabeth Avendaño Pineda, Present. Thank you. 
Susana Beatriz Ortiz de Cornejo. Walter Mauricio Morales Araujo. Present teacher. Wilfredo Guardado Rivera. Present teacher. William Giovanni Rosales Galvez. Present teacher. En Yanira Elizabeth Asensio García. Present. Thank you. There you are. Okay, guys. Thank you very much. Have a good night. See you tomorrow. Please don't forget. We need to be all of us together tomorrow. Bye-bye. Good night. Good night. Bye. Good night, everybody. Good night, everybody.
Ah, c'est tout malheur.